Esophagus. I am your esophagus. Esophagus. Attach to the back of your trachea. Esophagus. Digestive systems muscular too. Esophagus. I bring your food down to the stomach and you. I live in front of your spinal column. I'm right beyond the trachea and hop that pumps. I connect the throat to the stomach in you Before I reach your stomach, your diaphragm I pass through My outer muscles are what help me to push through These muscles contract in wave motions to help me push it through This wave motion is called peristalsis Now let's take a look at the muscles that help me do this The inner to the outer walls of your esophagus are made of four layers of Create peristalsis. The longitudinal muscle sits on my outside, while the circular muscle sits in the middle inside. The inner circular muscle wraps around the esophagus. It contracts by squeezing together just like a closed fist. It squeezes simultaneously with the longitudinal muscle, which runs up and down the esophagus. This long hollow tunnel lining the hollow center of the esophagus. Our Esophagus. I am your esophagus. Esophagus. Attach to the back of your trachea. Esophagus. Digestive systems muscular too. Esophagus. I bring your food down to the stomach and you. When you swallow your food after it is chewed, it passes the epiglottis, which covers the trachea in you. Then the upper esophageal sphincter will stay closed until the brain tells it to your food flow. When food's in your esophagus, peristalsis occurs. That's when circular and longitudinal muscles do work. These two muscles contract in the wave motion shown. Pushing your food towards your stomach's main digestive zone. Peristalsis is finished near your stomach stuff. Where your lower esophageal sphincter lets food drop. Once the food is in your stomach, the lower sphincter closes tight. Description below! Esophagus work.
our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. I am your small intestine, come journey with me, part of your digestive system and your tummy happy. I am a 20 foot long hollow tube, you see, I absorb all of the nutrients that you will need. From your pyloric sphincter, your chime enters me into my duodenum, it's my first part of three. Your duodenum's job is a critical your partially digested food ready for absorption your liver pancreas and your gallbladder secrete the chemicals that mix with your chime matter preparing your chime to be passed to your jejunum this is where your small intestine starts the absorption i am your small intestine come journey with me part of your digestive system in your tummy connected into one we'll start at the tip of your appendix attached to your cecum the next part of my tubular shape is the ascending colon which leads to the hepatic flexure so you're learning in this song your transverse colon runs across your entire abdomen then turns at your splenic flexure onto the descending colon. Your curved as shaped sigmoid colon leads to your rectum, which is where your fecal matter meets your anus in your bum. I am your large intestine, though I'm shorter than your small. I'm called your large intestine due to my expanded walls. Let me tell you how I work and a little bit about me. I'm only five feet in length, but I'm wide, which is why I'm called Large C. My most important job is absorbing water from your chime. If I didn't perform this function, you'd have loose stools all the time. Millions of bacteria do live inside of me. An important one is E. coli. Its job is very key. E. coli breaks down all the charm that your body can digest and produces vitamin K that regulates blood clotting at its best. Another important job that your large intestine has to play. Yeah, it excretes all your waste to 
help your body stay healthy. I am your large intestine, though I'm shorter than your small. I'm called your large intestine due to my expanded walls. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. Then the liver, it does. 
does the rest And when you're done digesting food That's when I ingest All the new bile to store That the body waits to use That is what I am for I am your gallbladder I am a sack-shaped organ you see I am a gallbladder Your liver stores its bile in me I am your gallbladder I am a sack-shaped organ you see I am a gallbladder Your liver stores its bile in me Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. I am your pancreas, I'm about six inches long. I sit behind your stomach, across the back of your abdomen. The anatomy of your pancreas is the first thing I'll explain. There are four main parts to me, and a fifth that it will gain. We'll start with the tail which sits to the left of your abdomen This is connected to the body, onto the neck it does extend The neck's attached to the head which is the fourth main part that you see Which can be split into two parts as I explain the parts of me When you split up the head, the head proper is what's on top Then the uncinnate process is at the bottom where it drops There are two main ducts in the pancreas you see the pancreatic and pancreatic dark accessory I am your pancreas I'm about six inches long I sit behind your stomach across the back of your abdomen the two functions of your pancreas that perform day to day are called the endocrine and exocrine to keep you all healthy let's talk about the endocrine system in your pancreas it releases two main hormones from the eyelids of Langer hands insulin and they keep your blood glucose real stable so your cells have energy Now the exocrine system produce digestive enzymes Through the pancreatic duct to the duodenum line The job of the enzymes is to help digest all your food So it's easily absorbed by the small intestine in you So take care of your pancreas so it continues to work well So your food keeps digesting and sends glucose to fuel your cells I am your pancreas I'm about six inches long I sit behind your stomach Across the back of your abdomen I am your pancreas I'm about six inches long I sit behind your stomach Across the back of your abdomen Go to the new KLT Anatomy channel Click the link in the description below Esophagus. I am your esophagus. Esophagus. Attached to the back of your trachea. Esophagus. Digestive systems muscular too. Esophagus. I bring your food down to the stomach and you. I live in front of your spinal column. I'm right beyond the trachea and hop that pumps. I connect the throat to the stomach and you. Before I reach your stomach, your diaphragm I pass through. My outer muscles are what help me to push through. These muscles contract in wave motions to help me push it through. This wave motion is called peristalsis. Now let's take a look at the muscles that help me do this. The inner to the outer walls of your esophagus are made of four layers of tissue that create peristalsis. The longitude it's on my outside While the circular muscle sits in the middle inside The inner circular muscle wraps around the esophagus It contracts by squeezing together just like a closed fist It squeezes simultaneously with the longitudinal muscle Which runs up and down the esophagus This long hollow tunnel Lining the hollow center of the esophagus Our lung mucosa and submucosa This is where they sit
the stomach in you. When you swallow your food after it is chewed, it passes the epiglottis, which covers the trachea in you. Then the upper esophageal sphincter will stay closed until the brain tells it to open to let your food flow. When food's in your esophagus, peristalsis occurs. That's when circular and longitudinal muscles do work. These two muscles contract in the wave motion shown.
with me, part of your digestive system in your tummy. connected into one we'll start at the tip of your appendix attached to your cecum the next part of my tubular shape is the ascending colon which leads to the hepatic flexure so you're learning in this song your transverse colon runs across your entire abdomen then turns at your splenic flexure onto the descending colon. Your curved as shaped sigmoid colon leads to your rectum, which is where your fecal matter meets your anus in your bum. I am your large intestine, though I'm shorter than your small. I'm called your large intestine due to my expanded walls. Let me tell you how I work and a little bit about me. I'm only five feet in length, but I'm wide, which is why I'm called Large C. My most important job is absorbing water from your chime. If I didn't perform this function, you'd have loose stools all the time. Millions of bacteria do live inside of me. An important one is E. coli. Its job is very key. E. coli breaks down all the charm that your body can digest and produces vitamin K that regulates blood clotting at its best. Another important job that your large intestine has to play. Yeah, it excretes all your waste to help your body stay healthy. I am your large intestine, though I'm shorter than your small. I'm called your large intestine due to my expanded walls. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. Side of 
Cause you see the pancreatic duct and pancreatic duct accessory I am your pancreas, I'm about six inches long I sit behind your stomach across the back of your abdomen The two functions of your pancreas that perform day to day Are called the endocrine and extracrine to keep you all healthy Let's talk about the endocrine system in your pancreas It releases two main hormones from the eyelids of Langer hands Insulin and glucagon are the hormones that release They keep your blood glucose real stable so your cells have energy Now the exocrine system produce digestive enzymes Through the pancreatic duct to the duodenum line The job of the enzymes is to help digest all your food So it's easily absorbed by the small intestine in you So take care of your pancreas so it continues to work well So your food keeps digesting and sends glucose to fuel your cells I am your pancreas, I'm about 6 inches long I sit behind your stomach across the back of your abdomen I am your pancreas, I'm about 6 inches long I sit behind your stomach across the back of your abdomen to the new KLT Anatomy channel. Click the link in the description below. Esophagus. I am your esophagus. Esophagus. Attached to the back of your trachea. Esophagus. Digestive systems muscular too. Esophagus. I bring your food down to the stomach and you. I live in front of your spinal column. I'm right beyond the trachea and hop that pumps. I connect the throat to the stomach in you Before I reach your stomach, your diaphragm I pass through My outer muscles are what help me to push through These muscles contract in wave motions to help me push it through This wave motion is called peristalsis Now let's take a look at the muscles that help me do this The inner to the outer walls of your esophagus are made of four layers of Create peristalsis. The longitudinal muscle sits on my outside, while the circular muscle sits in the middle inside. The inner circular muscle wraps around the esophagus. It contracts by squeezing together just like a closed fist. It squeezes simultaneously with the longitudinal muscle, which runs up and down the esophagus. This long hollow tunnel lining the hollow center of the esophagus. Our
in the description below.
test And though I'm shorter than your small I'm called your large intestine due to my expanded walls I'm made up of ten different parts all connected into one We'll start at the tip of your appendix attached to your cecum the next part of my tubular shape is the ascending colon Which leads to the hepatic flexure so you're learning in this song Your transverse colon runs across your entire abdomen Then turns at your splenic flexure onto the descending colon your curved as shaped sigmoid colon leads to your rectum Which is where your fecal matter meets your anus in your bum I am your large intestine though I'm shorter than your small I'm called your large intestine due to my expanded walls let me tell you how I work and a little bit about me I'm only five feet in length but I'm wide which is why I'm called Large C My most important job is absorbing water from your chime If I didn't perform this function you'd have loose stools all the time Millions of bacteria do live inside of me An important one is E. coli Its job is very key E. coli breaks down all the chime that your body can digest And produces vitamin K that regulates blood clotting at its best Another important job that your large intestine has to play yeah, it excretes all your waste to help your body stay healthy I am your large intestine Though I'm shorter than your small I'm called your large intestine Due to my expanded walls Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. I am your liver, the largest organ inside you. I'm like a supercomputer of the body for all I do. I am your liver, more than 500 things I do. I can perform 200 things at the same time inside of you. The belly. Helps your small intestine digest all the food that you will eat. I produce all of your bile, your gallbladder stores it up until food enters your system, then it secretes your bile ducts. The bile stops to break down fats from all the food you eat, so your small intestine can easily absorb what you will need. I am your liver, the largest organ inside you. I'm like a supercomputer of the body for all I do. I am your Another impressive job in which the liver has to do It filters toxins from your blood and shoots them out with pee and poo The network of blood vessels within the right and left lobes Can store 10% of the body's blood, it filters while it flows Three pints of blood is filtered through your liver every minute So please treat your body well and put the
channel. Click the link in the description below. I am your gallbladder. I am a sack shaped organ you see. I am a gallbladder. Your liver stores its bile in me. My surface is smooth to the touch. I am green in color, now you know that much. And I have several parts. The right and left hepatic ducts are where we will start. Here's the common hepatic duct. Then the cystic duct sits where it is tucked. Then we move. Is attached to the body and the rounded fundus to the common bile duct and the pancreatic duct that is what I'm made of. I am your gallbladder. I am a sac shaped organ you see. I am a gallbladder. Your liver stores its bile in me. I act as a reservoir by storing the bile that your liver does for. This bile is made and used to break down fats from all eaten foods. When your food leaves your stomach, it passes through the duodenum. Now that is a fact. That is when I begin to work. Passing the digestive bile through the common bile duct When this bile is out of me I flatten like a deflated balloon, you see Then the liver, it does the rest And when you're done digesting food, that's when I ingest All the new bile to store That the body waits to use, that is what I am for I am your gallbladder a sac shaped organ you see. I am a gallbladder. Your liver stores its bile in me. I am your gallbladder. I am a sac shaped organ you see. I am a gallbladder. Your liver stores its bile in me. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. I am your pancreas, I'm about six inches long. I sit behind your stomach across the back of your abdomen. The anatomy of your pancreas is the first thing I'll explain. There are four main parts to me and a fifth that We'll start with the tail which sits to the left of your abdomen This is connected to the body onto the neck it does extend The neck's attached to the head which is the fourth main part that you see Which can be split into two parts as I explain the parts of me When you split up the head, the head proper is what's on top Then the unsynate process is at the bottom where it drops There are two main ducts in the pancreas you see the pancreatic and pancreatic duct accessory I am your pancreas I'm about six inches long I sit behind your stomach across the back of your abdomen the two functions of your pancreas that perform day to day are called the endocrine and exocrine to keep you all healthy let's talk about the endocrine system in your pancreas it releases two main hormones from the islets of Langer hands insulin and glucagon are the hormones they keep your blood glucose real stable so your cells have energy Now the exocrine system produces digestive enzymes Through the pancreatic duct to the duodenum line The job of the enzymes is to help digest all your food So it's easily absorbed by the small intestine in you So take care of your pancreas so it continues to work well So your food keeps digesting and sends glucose to fuel your cells now I am your pancreas 
I'm about six inches long I sit behind your stomach Across the back of your abdomen I am your pancreas I'm about six inches long I sit behind your stomach Across the back of your abdomen Thanks for watching KLT Please subscribe to this channel Like our videos And check out the KLT merch store